Hi, Arya's Trav Sneerin. Welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we slayed some demon dogs for Tyrion Forging. And today, we are going to go back there you? and continue that quest chain. But first, I need to get rid of some junk in the bags. So, get rid of that. I might just get rid of this stuff. Hopefully, that's enough space. I think it's enough for now. We've got a... Got some dwarven honey meat on us. Might as well take a couple sips of that. And then we'll uh, hop on the flight point here. And we'll make our way over to EPL. We also have the flight point now, so we're going to be flying all the way. I don't know if it's a good idea to fly all the way over there. Maybe. I think that's a good idea. I think it's better to fly from Western Plaguelands than go up, or is it... Be careful. I think it's better just to go to Western. So you're kind of going way out of the way. Like I, I'm going pretty much here. I'm going to Lightso Chapel. And it's a longer flight. So my guess is if I start at... Um, where is it? Where's the Western Plague Lens? There it is. If I start here at Chillwind Camp, by the time I get to, let's say, Light, Lights Hope, I'll probably be around here on my mount. Driving hot. And he's right up here, so you can actually see where Tyrion is in the Western Plaguelands. He's just right up here. So, much shorter distance from here to there. Even from the ruins of Anderhal to there, it's probably a shorter distance than Light's Hope Chapel all the way there, so. So yeah, there we go. We figured that out. And, uh, yeah, guys, it's been a lot of fun doing the Hardcore Challenge. I, uh, I've learned a lot about it, about the add-on that you need to get, and joining the guild, and all the rules that you need to follow. It's a pretty serious, I wouldn't say it's a serious challenge, but they do make sure that you do it the right way. They keep, they keep track of you, which is good. And then if you, uh, you have the add-on, you can verify your, your run. And then at the end, you get put into a, a Hall of Fame of, of people who have got to level 60 and not and have not died. Really happy that they have that now. It's going to be a... Uh, I wonder how long that community... I think that community will last as long as they keep releasing Classic WoW. It's a, it's a fun challenge. And the cool thing about that challenge is... You can take your own time. You know what I mean? You can do it at your own pace. There's no rush. Could just be something you do on the weekends, you know? I don't know if you'll hit sec hit 60 in a year by only playing on the weekends. Depends how many hours you put in. But, um... <laughs> you can, uh... You can beat that challenge if you, say, put, do it every other day for, like, a couple hours. I think to get to 60 at the current leveling rate in Classic WoW, which has been nerfed a little bit. I can't believe we got knocked off our mount. Get a little bit of ground there. I we made it away. But yeah, at the current leveling rate, I think it will probably, you probably need like at least eight hours a week. At least an hour per, like yeah, it's seven to eight hours a week and you'll, you'll get there. You should get there in a year. Easily. Maybe even less than that. Maybe like 30 minutes. Maybe uh, five hours a week. So that's another thing that I like about it too. It's not as, uh, it's not very demanding. There's no schedule to it as well. It's not like raiding where you have to be somewhere at a certain time. So like, you know, say that, you know, life comes up like it always does. You can just be like, Yep, this week I'm not gonna, you know, level. And then next week I can pick it up from where I left off. It's about damn time World of Warcraft that had like a hardcore thing going on. I think it's got a pretty decent community. I think the community size is at least 10,000 people. Worldwide. Combined 
probably more than that if you combine the EU with it, North America, and then and you also have, o I think Oceanic may have a community going on. And I think it'll grow. It's pretty entertaining. Well, the death clips. The death clips really are. Everyone's just, like, thinking people are going to die. And it's cool watching people, like, speed run through it. And take risks. Alright, so let's uh, head up here. Get by these bears. And then we will see Tyrion soon. also been enjoying the Night Elf Zone, Shadow Glen. Pretty nice zone, I must say. I've never leveled in uh, Shadow Glen before, so it's a first. Alright, so what's going on here? There we go. Now we can mount up. We're most likely going to do the Bats quest today. We're going to do the Bats quest, and I think I'm going to pick up the, the Carry On Worm one as well. Probably should have picked up all three the first time. But I don't know if we will finish both. I, I know we'll, we'll finish the Bats 100%. I just don't know if we'll get all the... I think it's Worm Meat we have to collect. And then once we do that, then it'll uh, it leads into a quest chain that's pretty epic. And I don't know if we'll be able to do it. We might. We'll give it a try. I think there's. it's a group quest. So it could be a challenge, but I don't know. We'll give it a shot. I did it on my warrior. There's a nice neck piece that drops, I believe. Nice pre-bis neck piece, so it is worth doing. Be good to get that on the hunter. All right, so let's have a chat with Tyrion. Blood-tinged skies. Woe to those that foolishly wander into the Plaguelands. All manner of foulness inhabit these woods. From the fanatical Scarlet Crusade, who will kill any that do not bear the mark of the Crusade, to the murderous Scourge, who only look to bolster their numbers by adding more undead to their ranks. Even the wildlife have been transformed into rapacious, man-eating beasts. I ask that you destroy those that would strike from the skies, the Plague Bats. All right, carry on grubbage. My food supplies are running low, Dwarf. I am ashamed to admit that I might not have enough food to share with you. Could you assist an old man with a simple task? Around here, the only matter of beasts unaffected by the ravages of the plague are the carry-on worms. While rather bland in taste, the meat of the worms can easily be preserved to last for months. I will need several hundred pounds to restock for the coming winter. All right, so he needs 15 slabs of carry-on worm meat. All right, we'll see if we can... We can... We'll give it a try. We'll try to complete both. We'll give uh, Tigger some food here while we go on this journey. Yeah, this should be a fun quest chain. Tyrion is a pretty epic character, I must say. He confronts the Lich King when you defeat him in uh, Ice Crown Citadel, so he's just camping out right now. Like, he's been on the Scourge's tail ever since the beginning of Classic, you know? He's been watching them. And I think he was the... I'm not too sure about this, but I'm pretty sure he was the... He, like, taught... He was, like, the... Pal he taught Arthas how to become a paladin, which is the Lich King. Who became the Lich King. I should say. Oh my gosh, here we go. Got some plague bats. We're gonna get some good XP today, too. It's a lot of mobs we're going to be slaying. Go Tigger's getting some hits off. I think maybe after this quest chain, we should be like 57... Probably yeah, a little bit more, a little higher than that. We'll be like 57 and a half, I think, maybe. Maybe we can get a full level from this entire quest chain that we're going to be doing. 
then after that we'll head over to Fellwood. And then probably not do too many quests there. They're going to be kind of low for me at this level. But we'll do a couple and then probably check out Winter Spring. And then once we hit 59, I'm going to try to get into a Blackrock Depths dungeon group. Because it would be cool to, uh, to kill uh, Emperor Thorazane. The Dark Iron Dwarf Emperor in Blackrock Depths. But that'll be a challenge. That dungeon is a, it's pretty tough. But you can do it at level 59, 58, 58 to 60. I think you could probably even do it at 55. But it's a challenge. Even at level 60, that place is, uh, is tough. There we go. We found some grubs. Hopefully we get some meat from them. Eat right away, not bad. And yeah, it seems like uh, Blizzard has um, did some stuff for TBC. They are giving people free transfers off of low pop servers, which is good. That is what um, New World did when there was a you know an exodus of players leaving the game. And uh, I think that's a good thing that they added. So everybody gets a free character transfer. So we'll probably start to... So what'll happen is the low pop servers will get even more low pop, I think. And then um, servers like Ferlina and Androbulus and all this, the high pops will most likely get an influx of players joining them. So it looks like Blizzard is not going to uh, merge. There won't be any mergers coming anytime soon. And I think that's a good idea. And it just goes to show you that doing your research on what server to play on before you like make your tune. It's a pretty big deal. Last thing you want to do is be stuck on a server that nobody plays on. There we go. Larval acid. Nice. That's actually pretty rare. That may... I, I believe that may make a... Make some type of alchemic potion. Would be pretty sure it makes... Um, nature resistance spots. If I'm not mistaken. And use a lot of those in AQ40. Oh, we got some dogs on us. Finally found some dogs, and those are gargoyles over there. Shouldn't mistake them for uh, for bats. But yeah, if you're ever thinking about playing hardcore, make sure you get the add-on called Hardcore. It's literally called Hardcore, just the word before you uh, make your character, or before your character goes into Azeroth. Because if, it, if you don't do that, then um, you have to record your run fully. And supposedly that takes a long time for them to verify your run. So you're better off just using the add-on. Oh, there we go. Our bags are already full, which is terrible. Yeah, we need to clear up our bags. We may have to go to, like, Iron Forge or something like that. Sell some stuff. 
Or I might just vendor a bunch of stuff, guys. Only reason why I would want to go back to Iron Forge at the right now is if it's pretty much just to get some new abilities. So we don't really need gold at all. Yeah, we'll probably think about vendoring some of these like cheap items, like the red wolf meat we don't need. These acre of undeaths, these bone fragments, I probably should have got rid of all that stuff. The rules are interesting. It's cool how you can duo. I thought duoing in hardcore was awesome. And it's interesting to see what duos people choose to do. I've seen Druid and Hunter, which is pretty damn good. Because they're both fast classes. Their movement speed is uh, pretty damn high once they hit level 20. Due to aspect of the Cheetah and then... The druid having cat form with dash. So they kind of just fly after level 20 once they hit that point. What that is? It's like a fire. It's, it's not a fire. It's like an enchanted fire. Alright, so we gotta find some more of these bats. There's a worm over there and a bat. The bats are really easy to find. We were having trouble with the with the dogs last episode, but the bats are pretty damn easy. So this bat's gonna pull. There we go. There we go, level up for Tigger. Another good combo, if I would say, is like Paladin and uh, a Warrior, Priest Warrior. It makes Warrior leveling not that bad when you have a healer. Because uh, even Druid Warrior is not, it's pretty, it's not bad. I think Paladin Warrior is the best. Because, um... Warriors want to generate rage, right? And the problem with Priest Warrior is Priest puts shields on Warriors, and when the when the Warrior has a shield on it and he's getting hit, he doesn't generate rage. While Paladins just have, like, big, chunky heals. So the Warrior's generating rage, like, the entire time, and they're just trucking. It's cool when you're a Warrior and you can just go in and not worry about, like, your health. Rogues? I, I don't know who would be rogues. Rogues would be good with the healer, I guess. Rogues are really a solo class, I think, to be honest. They're more of a solo class. Because they don't give any buffs, right? Like, they don't really add anything to another person. Many, many classes, like, give buffs and all that stuff. I think duo leveling is pretty OP. It's, it's, it's really OP. Because whatever weakness the one class has, another class kind of offsets that weakness, depending on the combo. Like, if you went double mage, you would wreck... Stop, dude. Like, the AoE farms you could do as double mage would be ridiculous. It's another, uh, decent group. Let's drink up here. Scrub didn't give us any mead, right? I almost done the grub quest, which is not bad. We got 20 more bats to go. Stay away from the gargoyles. I 
Druid Warlog's probably pretty good. The only thing that's lacking is, um... These Warlocks are slow. Until they get their mount. So the Druid's kind of just like, you know, it's waiting on them all the time until they hit 40. But the cool thing is you can combine the hots with the dots. And the Druid could also tank as well. For the Warlocks, so the Warlocks, they can tank like two mobs at once while the Warlock dots them up. And the Warlock can just cast like crazy. Yeah, it's kind of sad when you see people die, like, level, like, in the 40s, 50s. The amount of hours they put in. Put in, like, over 48 hours of gameplay. And it all just gets wiped away with one death. And I think that's the... That may be a big turnoff for a lot of people. The thing is, you can still keep your character if you want. Me, myself, I would most likely just delete it. Because I'm not really a fan of playing on PvE servers. Oh man, we got a cargoyle here. Couple. It's interesting, that bat just came right over. Another bat. You got no mana. It's getting dazed. Get him down. that like a champ. We're halfway on this quest now. I gotta have a drink here. Yeah, you can continue playing, which is not that bad. So you could just be like, you know what, I'll give it a try. If I die, then I'll just keep leveling up. I think a lot of people did that. And supposedly when you die with Soul of Iron, the buff, your body doesn't just disappear. Supposedly the body just stays there. I don't know how long it stays there for. Maybe the duration of the server, which is kind of ridiculous. Maybe at like a certain level, it, like it just stays there. But I'm not, I'm not too sure. But that's what I've heard. So say we're in the, like someone died right here, like you would see their body. Or their soul of iron or something like that there. To remember them by. And I wonder if it says like who it is, what level they were, all that stuff. That's right, get him. But when I press B show wrath, he just picks up aggro right away. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. I'm interested to see how the hardcore community does for this next year. See how um, see how far they go with it. 
I don't think they have a raid. Well, they're, they're not even close to having a 40-man raid team yet, but it hasn't been that long. It's only been, like, a couple of days. It hasn't even been a week yet. We'll probably start seeing the raid assemble next week. And we'll see what happens. I, I, I think next week will most likely be pre -bis. People will be trying to get pre bis going. And the thing is, if people start dropping off during that part of the game... Who knows what can happen, right? Like, if enough people just die... People could just give up. Right? I don't know how many people are down just to do it again. But who knows? Maybe people are, are in it for the long term. Because I hope they get it down. I really do. Because it's going to take a pretty clean run to get ragged down with no deaths. But they probably will have a, a solid bench just in case people die. Yeah, it's kind of scary, you know what I mean? Because, like, one boss fight can wipe out one mistake, you know, on Gar. Like, say someone gets knocked into a bunch of ads. That's GG. Like, the whole raid could just be dead. Baron Geddon, someone just doesn't move out with the bomb. Could you imagine that? Like someone just forgets about the the mechanic where if you like you if you have the, the debuff you just blow up and can kill the entire raid. Can you imagine like doing like someone did that, and then twenty people in the raid just died, or like the whole raid wiped. That's forty people that put in. <laughs> I don't even want to know how many hours. Like over a hundred hours, huh? Maybe even two hundred. And they just lose it all right there. And that's that's a whole raid gone. And they have to start from zero. Like, that's wild. That's what I kind of like about it. It's very, uh... It's intense. And I don't think we're seeing Kalthazad go down. I'll be surprised if Cthune goes down. I think they can do Blackwing Lair, though. Because you can do Blackwing Lair with Priebus. AQ-40 is would be pretty damn tough without with Priebus, though. Blackwing Lair would be tough with Priebus. Because if they want to get a bunch of gear from from Molten Core, they're going to have to farm it week in, week out. And <laughs> mistakes can happen, you know? Also, if you lose, like, a couple of tanks during the raid, like, say they lose, like, four tanks, they have to bring in another four tanks. The tanks just don't come out of nowhere. It's, it's gonna be really hard. It's crazy. It's hardcore. It's, it's why they call it, it. Call that hardcore. And I'm loving it. It's a, it, it, This part's, like, really just chill. You know, everyone's just leveling up. But you do get to see how, how challenging that really is. But the people who just chill and just, you know... Slowly get their way up there, they'll, they'll make it to 60. I just think when the dungeon farming and the, the gear farming starts happening, that's when you'll start seeing a lot of deaths. And who knows, maybe uh, 007 will get up there. I'll probably be playing hardcore the for the entire season, so... We'll see if we get a character up there, or see how far we can go. Would be cool to hit 60. I just gotta see if I can get close. If I get close, then I'll probably really pump out the videos. Just so I can make it on time. Because I'm pretty... I'm a pretty casual player. I don't really play... You know... I'm like the guy who plays like 7-8 hours a week, so... 
Like tops, if that. I think on my night elf, probably you're gonna be playing like four to five hours a week, so we'll see what happens with that. But we'll slowly get him up there. And then once this once the hunter and the druids are done, we'll have a little bit more time to focus on hardcore. I really enjoy it. It really spices up the leveling. And I, and I wish I did it earlier. But I'm happy we've done an alliance... Like, we've done an alliance horde classic Let's Play. This one's kind of... It's like a mix of classic and TBC, but... It, we got to level 31 in classic on the Hunters, so I, I still consider it a classic Let's Play. And then we got a, a horde and alliance TBC Let's Play with the Shaman and the... Shaman and the Paladin. Alright, here we go. Go get him. And I'll probably do that for Wrath, too. Probably get a nice playthrough of, um... Wrath of the Lich King. Lord and Alliance. If it comes out, we still don't know what's going to go, what's going on with that, but I assume they're going to release it. They'd be, uh... It'd be a mistake if they don't. Because there's a lot of people who love Wrath of Lich King. Like me. I actually like Dalaran. It's one of my favorite cities. Just riding around in a giant square over and over again. And it's an alliance and horde city as well. And I like Northern too. I just like the winter vibe that it has. And I really like Grizzly Hills. It's one of my favorite zones. Here we go. Get him. Good. Got that trap off just in time. I don't fear this, but then if the dogs came. It's time to pop the cooldowns. Get the bat. There we go. Get him down pretty quick. Tigger's getting actually kind of low. Gotta heal him. Got a dog on us. Don't even have enough mana to put uh, Hunter's Mark up on him. Okay, so let's have a drink here. We'll get rid of this worm, and then we got four more bats to go. And we will uh, we'll finish up the worm meat quest next episode. And then we'll get to start that epic uh, Tyrian forging quest chain. It really is for level 60, so... We'll give it a try. And um, maybe I'll, I'll ask for some help. We need it. So it would be nice to get the neck piece. I don't even think we can wear it. It's probably for level 60 only. So our neck piece does suck. 12 stamp, 5 spirit. It's not that good at all. It's, it's no offense from that. Okay, so there's another bat. Let's see what we can do here. And the bat quest seems to be way more chill. I remember we were running around this entire area looking for dogs. Probably should have started out with the bats. Get him! Oh, here we go. CC there. I wish there was a vendor near um, 
Tyrion. It's too bad we have to hearth back just to sell, sell stuff. So one more bat to go. Let's have a quick drink. What's our water doing? We got 25, not bad. Still have a decent amount of bullets. Probably get a another round of bullets next episode. Maybe we should do it this episode so we don't forget. Yeah, I think that would be better. Because I do tend to forget. It'd be terrible if we came here and then we ran out of bullets. Okay, so one more bat. There's a uh, Stitch Golem. Bunch of these guys. I'll try fighting one, why not? I think we'll probably wreck one. Yeah, most likely. Come on, Tigger. Get aggro. But yeah, that first mole and core they do, it's going to be entertaining. I'm going to be watching, that's for sure. Interested to see how it goes. I'll be honest, I'd be happy for them if they got a clean run and just did it, but... <laughs> I, but I kind of want to see them struggle a bit. I don't want it to be a breeze. It, it would be cool if they failed once. And then they went, you know, they came back and did it. It would make it a little bit more epic. Because if they did it first try, I'd be like, oh man, that kind of sucks. And I believe they probably could do it first try if it was the old Molten Core. But with these new mechanics, I think it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough to get a clean run in there. Which is awesome. It makes it so interesting to me as a, as a WoW player. I haven't even done the new MC yet, so I'm, I'm interested to see what it's like myself eventually. That'll be a, a ways away, though. I'm kind of... Kind of loafed it on the level in myself. I think my mage is like level 12 at the time of this recording. Which isn't that high. But it's a decent level. It's okay. But there are people who have already hit level 60. There's a decent chunk of them. And they've, it's only been out like three days. A lot of them are hunters. I think hunter, I believe a hunter got world, got hard. Well, a hunter got world first uh, hardcore level sixty, and I'm pretty sure a hunter got level world like level sixty first as well. I think hunters took it down this time, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. Maybe a mage got world first. I'm not too sure, but I know in hardcore it was a hunter. Hunters are just great levelers. They're probably the the best solo leveling class. Uh, and then then you got Mage. Them and Mage are on another level. The thing with Mage is you gotta do AoE farming to give yourself that edge. And in Hardcore, that's pretty damn risky. Because one crappy pull or... Say they, um... Like they resist your Nova, and then you get some like they get some big crits on you. You could just get dropped. 
Well, a hunter is just like a single target. Or just a beast at single target damage, so. And they have a pet to tank for them, so it's... Hunters do great. Hunters are like a, a nice, steady class, and they're pretty damn quick, too. The, the mount speed you get is also pretty damn awesome. Helps out a lot. I've enjoyed leveling Hunter. Alright, you are a shining example of decency, Dwarf. It has been long since I left the blood of heroes pump. <laughs> okay. It has been long since I have felt the blood of heroes pump through my veins. Your acts of bravery are uplifting. Alright, so there we go. We're almost uh, level 57 already. We haven't even started that new quest chain. We might even be level 58 when we leave EPL. There's a lot of quests we can do in Eastern Plague Lance. Yeah, let's sell some Good junk day to here. You. And I'm gonna have to buy some bullets. I'm gonna sell a lot of this stuff that we don't need. This beacon, place this on the doorway of Anderhal's Rune Towers. We don't even need that. A lot of stuff that I don't even need. Iron ore, wolf meat, don't need any of that bad stuff. Keep the larval acid, that's actually pretty good. This, this is not, I don't even need it. Keep the beers. I guess we'll keep the meat. Can we stack the meat? I can only have 10, so we'll get rid of a stack. Red Ridge Goulash. We still have Red Ridge Goulash on us. We gotta start eating that stuff. But yeah, I think that's good. Now let's get a stack of bullets. I believe we have to go over here. This little cabin. There should be a trade goods guy. Hello. It's not him. Have a good Could be somebody upstairs. Yeah, she's hey got there. the bullets. Does she got the slugs? She got the impact shot. Nice. So I'll just load up on that. We'll get one more. There we go. We're done. Safe travels. Got a full bag of bullets. And we'll be ready to uh, finish off. That be uh, finish finish off those uh, carry on worms, and then start that Tyrian forging quest chain. But that is the end. Of today's episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later. Mm -hmm.